Welcome to the Land of House channel. I'm Seth. Relly just sent over the light cam battery D1 security camera and also included the solar panel and lots of different ways of mounting this. And I thought, let's go ahead and check out what's in all these boxes, get this product installed and see what it's all about. All right, let's go ahead and jump into doing an unboxing real quick. Let's start off with the security camera first and see what's inside of this package. The first thing you'll notice is it has a one, two, and three. Number one is the camera itself. So let's pull that box out and see what's inside of here. Whoops. <laughs> I don't think that's how they intended it. There we go. The open is right there. So let's go ahead and pull this camera out. First of all, I'll notice inside of this box, very well padded, very nice. All right, remove before use, it says. It's got a very slick design, has the infrared right here, has a mic input, and has a nice big light down here, and the camera is up top. If you move over here to this side, there is a power button, and if you open this tab right here, you can access the uh, SD card slot right there. It's a micro SD. Nothing on the top, the back has a speaker and a quarter inch thread for attaching to a mount. If you go down to the bottom, it also has another quarter inch mount and also you can open up this tab right here to access a USB-C charging port. And that's the basics there of the outside look of this security camera. Now let's move on to box number two, the accessories. If I open this one up, let's see what all comes inside of this box. Some mounting screws here, a USB type C charging cable, and then here is a mount. You can mount this to a flat surface such as a house or a fence post. And now we have box number three. It says quick start guide. Go ahead and open this up. Has a 3M adhesive. Here's a positioning sticker. Here's a warning sticker to tell people that they are being recorded. It has a user manual right here. So you can uh, go ahead and get started quickly. Now the camera does have a 7,800 milliamp hour battery inside of the unit, which lets this last up to five months without recharging. Regardless, they also sent a solar panel over so we can forget about charging and just let this be charged all the time whenever the sun is out. So let's go ahead and take a look at this panel as well. It's a bit fascinating. The solar panel has a rubberized coating on it. I suppose that will help this to last a very long time without getting sun damage. Has a nice long USB type C charging cable. Also comes with a mount and some hardware. Now when it comes to mounting options, Rely doesn't mess around. They have got a ground mount, which is a metal stake that lets you put this in the ground and then have the camera up. So let's say you wanted to keep the camera close to your bird feeder so you can watch the birds. Then you have this mount right here. So it's just a metal pole that fits together here. This little spike right here will then go in the ground to let you stick this anywhere close to your bird feeder or out in the yard that you need to. Tighten it, there we go. So your camera will then fit here on this quarter inch thread. This mount here is designed to go onto a desk or a fence. So let's say you were either in the house and wanted to record your kids or your cat, then you could use this on your desk, but you could also use it outdoors and clamp this to a fence that overlooked a bird feeder. It's a very nice solid connection there. And up here, once again, it has the quarter inch thread. And then inside of this is an adjustable metal tube that lets you adjust this to whatever angle you need this camera to face. The camera also has an option for a tripod. So you can move these legs around however you need to pinch onto something. And then you can use the quarter inch thread up here to get that uh, secured. And the last included mount is simply a strap. So you could put this onto a tree or something that has an odd shape and use the quarter inch thread down here to mount this camera. Now, this is a good option for 
using the thread on the back of the camera. So you could mount right there and then have this around a tree. Let's try out some of the mounting methods here. So I've got the stake first, and this would be ideal if you wanted to, say, uh, watch birds in the yard. You can just push this into the ground and then attach your camera here. Now I'm already getting notifications on my phone that the uh, camera is picking up both face detection and movement. The yard stake worked out very well. Let's see how the desk clamp works. So if I open that right there, very nice. Has a good solid connection. So now I can get this attached here. Oh yeah, that'll definitely hold on the side of a desk. And I could uh, move this flexible piece down some and uh, reposition that as need be. Very good. That's definitely a valid option for mounting this. We also had this little tripod here, which is flexible. I felt like this would work well to grab onto a small tree, such as this one right here. Yeah, very good. You could easily put that on a small tree like this. I have the quick start guide. I'm gonna open it up here to the QR code and download the app. It's called Rally Up. All right, I'm installing the app right now, and that will let us access a lot of the settings inside of this camera. I do have to create an account, so I'm gonna do that real quick without you. Reset successfully. Waiting to connect. Waiting to connect. I wound up having to use the alternate way of connecting the device, but it is now working. So if I click the live button here, it will load up and I'll be able to see what this camera is recording. So if I just spin it around here, I can then see here on my front yard. Very cool. All right, so let's do some testing with this camera. All right, as you can see, I am now walking with the camera recording me and uh, it's got 1080p. I wanted to see if the closer I get to my Wi-Fi, if the feedback here is smoother. So let's just place this up here much closer to my house Wi-Fi. Stick it back in the yard. And let's see here. Yes, so I believe that it is now showing me a live feedback that is a bit quicker because I'm closer to the internet. All right, so as you can see, it has picked me up. And uh, to be honest, it has quite a wide range of uh, view here. So I am just stepping out of view right here. Uh, it's got almost, uh, I would say 180 degrees uh, on this lens here, so very nice. I've waited until dark to step back out here to see how this is going to look at night. So let me step over here. Let me go ahead and push the live button here on the camera. Now a blue light comes on whenever it has detected motion. So you can see here I am moving around. <laughs> you can actually see the red lines for the infrared as well. Let's see if it'll get a close-up on my head. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, there I am. <laughs> howdy, howdy. All right. Let's go ahead and turn on the regular light now. And it should swap over to the regular color. So, yep. I know you can't really see much there, but it does show up pretty good. Now I can drop the brightness down. Let's see how that's going to show here. Yeah, so if I drop that all the way down, it's actually a little bit clearer. It was trying to pick up too much there whenever I had it all the way uh, up like this. Now, whenever you press the live view on the app, you're able to do a few things with this camera from their phone, which is pretty cool. So first of all, let's turn on the light. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. The light has turned on there. Now we will test this out more at night whenever uh, it's a bit darker out, so you can also adjust the brightness there of that light. Let's turn it off. Now here is a siren if you wanted to scare away a burglar or an animal. All right. I can also press the record button. 
It also has car detection and of course just regular motion detection. So lots of cool features available with this camera. Let's say you're using this camera out in your yard to look at birds. And so you've got the ground mount here. I'm just going to stick this into the ground. That should be fine there. And then uh, get the camera screwed onto the threads here. We'll just face it over here so maybe we can catch some of the deer as they walk by. But let's say you also want to have this charge while it's on the ground mount. I wanted to see if it's possible to use the fence post or desk uh, clamp here because it's decently strong to hold on to this metal pipe. Let's just see if we can do that and then hook up the panel on top of it. Go ahead and plug it up and maybe we'll come back in a little while and see if the wind has messed with it or if it's going to work well here. <laughs> that might happen where it just falls over. In order to attach the solar panel there is this rubber stopper back here. You pull that loose and then you can stick the cord in there and it makes a decent uh, connection. The camera actually makes a noise whenever it begins to charge so if I cover up the panel like this and then remove my hands it'll make a beep. So you can hear that to mean that it is charging now. I've been using this camera now for a week and I have noticed a few things. I had it up on a tree next to my house and so every time I would walk down to my lower shed it would have a notification ding on my phone. And it would also send a second notification to say that a car was detected. So it would both pick up my movement and also that my car was parked in the driveway. Now at nighttime, I have found out that this camera is actually rather sensitive. So if a moth flies by or if it's raining, it will pick those things up and send notifications to your phone. So if you're somebody that keeps your phone volume up during the night, that might be kind of frustrating. Um, so you may have to uh, work with that a little bit. But it is nice to know whenever there is movement around your home. So, so far I give this things a two thumbs up for this camera. It is nice. Um, I'm just now about to get sun on the solar panel and so we will see how well that charges. But I can already see that it's got its light blinking over here that it is getting a charge even in the shade. So very nice to have. Having the solar panel connected up to the pole here has worked well. It charged all day yesterday. So if you're going to be using this camera on this pole, you can easily just attach this out to the pole, charge it up, and then you're good to go for several months on that charge. Now I did capture, uh, my neighbor came by to see me and also my uh, boy came over and adjusted things and uh, it didn't fall off. So happy to see that. Well, uh, so in conclusion, the app is pretty easy to set up and use. The camera seems to work flawlessly. One thing I would point out is that it works better if you're closer to your home network. So uh, this right here is about 75 to 100 feet away and it's still working, but there's a bit of a delay. So if I were to click onto the live app right now, it would have uh, a little bit of a time trying to um, display that. But if I were to bring this 50 feet closer, good to go. Uh, if you wanna check out this product, I will have links to the uh, pages down below in the description. And uh, as always, be sure to leave me a comment if you have questions or concerns about this, and I will try to get back to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Land of House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.